Fork News Project is a project that we are doing throughout the GTA with different schools that are based basically uh, in the four directions. To be able to share uh, all the different cultures and different beliefs, different religions, um, what we're about and to be able to allow them to have a little bit of an experience as to what we do traditionally and I guess you could say non-traditionally in aspect. It's been an ongoing project now for the past four years, well, few years, I guess. And that's what we are hoping to, to succeed from that, uh, to be able to bring all these different um, cultures together. Uh, we plan on, after each canoe was built, to put on uh, like a symbol or something representing each person's culture, whether it may be the same or something completely different. Um, but yeah, showing that we can come together as, uh, I guess you could say, as one family, um, one, one society, one community, you know, and not being divided all the time like we are so used to being. I found out a little while ago that I was um, part Cree, which was sort of interesting just because I never thought much about like where I came from, I was like, oh, I'm <laughs> white, something, who cares? Uh, but it's been neat getting to, like, talk about that and where we all come from, like, as part of this um, project. To be honest, it didn't really occur to me until after I'd started talking to everybody. When I heard about the project, it just sounded like a great opportunity to learn. And it, uh, because I am trying to be a screenwriter, it sounded like a great place to <laughs> environment for a writer, for, like, creative thought or ideas or just getting to understand people better. What I really hope is that later on like or maybe like even now people will start to realize that you can't always look on one side like learn both sides of the story like don't always assume. I didn't know what to expect when I was coming into this. Uh, I just wanted to learn more about Indigenous the First Nations um, traditions and, and their beliefs um, because I find that our belief system is similar. You know, a lot of times, like, so when I was in school, actually, I learned, oh, well, the teacher goes, she's talking about new nutrition, and she goes um, along the line of how Indigenous and First Nations culture, it's in their culture to drink, right? And, and I always thought that, I, I obviously knew that that wasn't true, because that doesn't make any sense, just, like, I just, I, I, I always knew that wasn't true, but when I actually spoke to Josie, he said it's actually, like, not in their belief. Like, it's a part of their belief not to drink, and that's a part of my belief, too. A birch bark canoe is something that everybody knows what it is and it comes from First Nations and it's been one of the main things that's been around for the beginning of time you know um, all you see like all the modern style canoes and such come from that birch bark canoe they all stem from that type of design and being such an old trade itself and the building of birch bark canoes being diminished pretty much down to the last few builders throughout Canada and the United States. I think by sharing that knowledge and allowing people to do hands-on and um, engage in building the canoe, it brings people together as well. You know, it's very calming. It, it's, it's no matter what you got going on throughout the day, when you start working on a canoe, a birch bark canoe with other people, you tend to just come together as a family. You know, you can be complete strangers Within a few minutes, you find yourself talking and laughing with everybody, you know. That's the fort. That's, no, no, that's the one side of the fort. And then the other side. And then so the I, other I side. measured from this side to this side and then this side to that side. So this side to this side is Was four, 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 four one eight. Yeah, and that side to that side is six and a quarter. Six, one. Well, first and foremost, I've never actually built a canoe, right? So obviously learning the process of that and learning why we use birch bark instead of plastic or whatever it really shows like how much of a misconception people are in and that they don't realize what we've already figured out and there's just other things in general that we've learned aside from the canoe about the culture that we didn't know and how it's connected with other cultures like including my own I think something that I found interesting was when I was speaking to Josie and he told me that when he goes hunting if he doesn't feel like it's right, if he feels like he shouldn't do it, then he doesn't do it, regardless of whether or not 
you know, he, that was his intention during the day to go hunting. If it doesn't feel right within him, he won't ever do it. So when they did the treaty, after they finished negotiating everything, uh, as a symbol of good faith, they, they uprooted a, a white spruce and they buried all of their war hatchets underneath that and then put the tree back on top. What I really enjoyed about this project was building the drums because they, while building the drums, I got to hear more stories about like other, like First Nations culture mostly and like legends and stuff like that. It's a very special feeling. It's, uh, it's like all of the spirits join together to make one spirit. So it's very difficult when you have that feeling about other people to start trying to kill them. Right, because you're feeling as one with the other men, you're not going to go and get into a fight with them because you're now brothers around the drum. I'm so grateful that I got this opportunity because there's so much that I didn't know and if I hadn't come to this, if I wasn't told about this or been able, been given this opportunity, I would have never known anything and I would have just stayed like knowledgeless. I wouldn't have learned anything and I can say that in the t two weeks that we've been doing this so far there's so much that I've learned that I haven't learned throughout the 20 years I've lived my life. When I was asked that the very first time I was I didn't know and I googled it which is the truth I googled what does reconciliation mean and it still didn't seem like a good enough answer to me but I think for me the way I see it is coming together and coming in peace with everyone and just, I think it's just togetherness and making things right. That's what it is. To when, like, when I heard about reconciliation in school, it's just kind of this vague idea about like reconnecting with First Nations because they were treated so poorly when like um, Europe first like colonized this land. But hearing more about what it's like right now, it doesn't feel like just a story or part history. It's like something that's going on, and all these individual issues about like pipelines and claiming land and water that. Reconciliation isn't just this idea or word you throw around, it's like, it's a real collaborative process that's done step by step and this big conversation and I feel like I'm more a part of it now. I hope that it makes a lot of people more passionate and interested in learning about reconciliation uh, because I feel like I've learned just in these last couple of weeks more than I have in like all my years of school and like that there's stuff that everyone can do to make a difference, to make Canada like a really good place, and not just Canada, but the world, a more environmentally friendly, equitable. Uh, I hope that when people like hear about the canoes, and I hope a lot of people do hear about them, that they think that they want to learn more, and, like understand people better, and hopefully they can get inspired to really learn and try to make a difference. What do I hope from that will come from this project? Well, I hope that people will realize the actual conditions of First Nations and also like actually understand what is happening that it's still happening and you think you're living in Canada but also the fact that you know like people speak out and have advocacy not just sit and learn and learn and learn and not do anything with it it's like you have a degree in something and you never do anything with it and you just go get a bunch more and still do nothing with it it's useless right it's all about actually going forward and whether that means that you fundraise to have clean water in a the reserve, then that's what you do. You do what you can. I really, truly hope that that's exactly what comes from this Four Canoes project. I hope that the government, I hope that all the nations see that we are as one and that we can, we truly can move forward and work together like we should be. You know, it stems back to the two row wampum, you know. One, one man should not step in another man's path, you know, so to speak. And we're parallel to be able to work side by side. You know, not as a boss, not as a younger brother, not as an older brother, but as partners. Always side by side, always in a parallel line. And I think that we truly can. Yeah, yeah, yeah.